Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Media Snoop's playthrough of Remother Tormented Fathers, part three. There's a crazy half-naked man chasing us. So, you know, it's like an average Tuesday. I think it's Wednesday today. Either or. You know, my house is weird. So I'm pretty sure we're going to wait for him to go up the stairs, because he was chasing us down there. We ran away. We have to go back, <laughs> grab a key, and then continue to explore. I need to get him out of here. Thrilling gameplay yeah. as we wait. But he's right down there. We know sure? he is. I guarantee he is, because that's the way we ran. I ran here, up the stairs, locked myself in here to get away from... To get away from the naked man. There he is. Good call. Okay, now I need him to go up the stairs. No, he's gonna turn back and then we're gonna have to do the stay calm thing. Oh, never mind. Okay. Goodbye will be the chance to reach my land for me and then. A whole new world. Why? I Why? Stop, you stupid bitch! We have to throw something. I can't. What? Stop. I can't. I'll make you Because I didn't have it in time. my inventory. Okay, Stop let's pick it. something up then. Try it. Go to hell! Okay, now I'm gonna go. Why do you do that? Under the sofa? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I hate that he just turns around. He's like, yeah, I'm totally going this way. And then all of a sudden, peekaboo. I think that's the point of him talking is so that we knew he was still close to us. We have to wait longer, but it sucks to wait that long. You probably heard us closing the. I'm tired of all of this. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Next time we hear him voice, we just have to see if it was louder or quieter than the last time. I can't take any more. You think we're good? Hmm. It's hard to say. He takes a sweet time, but yeah. I say we try, and then we can pick up some more of those throwable things. Oh. I can't take any more. Why can't I do it when I'm here? I also totally forgot we had a flashlight because we never use it. I know we have um stuff, and I'm pretty sure I have to equip it. I hear things, but I can't decide if there's a storm outside. I think we're okay. If we do die, we'll probably just speed up footage of us running back to where we were. Yeah. Because we'll, Otherwise it's just gonna be yeah, we'll lose slow. a bit of progress if we die. Um... So, like, this is what I mean. I've got equipables. I have diversion items. Huh. Although, Equipped. I only have rope. Oh. So, maybe we need to pick up something different. We do. I didn't realize I only had rope. Didn't we pick up the handle? Or did we die before we picked it up a second time? I'm pretty sure we picked it up. I'm like 90% sure so we So if we go up. to the oven, we should be able to use it in theory. Yeah. 
There it is. I forgot. The way you use stuff in this game is a little weird. It doesn't automatically use it, which is good. Maybe I can open the other door and make a loop. Hmm. Um, I did pick up something to throw at him. Yeah, so what I had was the rope. And it looks like what I can do with the rope is... We need another defense item. We dropped it. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna play the radio so he knows where we are. Good plan. We are absolutely going to do that. Oh, to take the rope. I'm very confused as to what the rope does. Oh, good. Shit. I'm going to wait. There's only one way into this area. Yeah. It's freaking terrifying. I just want to save, man. <laughs> and regain some health, uh, please. Yeah. I still don't fully understand how to use the rope distraction. The next yeah. time we get to a place where we're relatively safe, I need to do some experimenting. Yes, he should be the only monster here. Okay, so I think we're relative. We're in a room that we've never seen him go into. Uh -huh. Okay, so how does this work? Oh, it's a placeable diversion. It's okay, not a throwable diversion. Where do I place it? Good question. Do I place it on doors? I think you have to use, um... Uh, certain buttons you have to use. I'm just not sure what. Um... Oh, drop diversion item. Square. But I think that just drops whatever's in my hand. Oh. Yeah, it just leaves it on the ground. One oh. sec. Do, 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 do. Actually, I might have it in tutorial diversions. Uh, placeable. Hold the place diversion item button down to equip the item and lure the enemy into that area. To use the items on the door. Okay. So what I could do, for example, is... Tie the rope on the door? Yeah, I could leave it here and then... So it's to place it on the door, right? Yeah, but it said hold what? Hold, um, yeah, but I think you have to do it when you're near the door, though. Well, I thought it said you could also do it on the ground. Yeah, but for the rope, it, it should go on the door, I think. But I just don't know how. What button am I supposed to hit? Yeah, square. Place the, place, place the, okay. Hold the place diversion item. It's super weird. It doesn't want me to do it. Okay. Oh, here we go. I don't actually need to place it there. That's just good to know. So this is a, just the type of diversion I can't place on the ground. That's it. Which makes sense. A rope isn't going to do jack poop on the right. floor. Right. It's useful if we need to close the door behind us and yeah. so we're not followed. Um, so now we should be good. We have... We need to go heal ourselves. We do, which means we need to find a mirror. Which is currently the most dangerous thing. We have a knife, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, cleaver. Okay. 
Suspected of kidnapping and arson, renowned professor commits suicide. Unable to withstand the charges, Albert Elias Wyman hangs himself. Acquitted for lack of evidence, the community fulminated against him. Their reasons were more than sufficient, however. Cover up. Revenge. November 14th, 1971. One month after the disappearance of the 13-year-old Celeste, adoptive daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Felton, the dead body of Professor Wyman, pictured above, has been found today in his house. Wyman allegedly hanged himself. He was suspected of the disappearance of the young Celeste, even though there was no real proofs that should indicate that the disappearance was in fact a kidnapping. He was also accused of the arson at the cloister Cristo Morento, happened six days ago in which all of the twelve nuns living there lost their lives. Ashman's daughter included. Wyman intimidated several times his former business partners, the Feltons, and the ex-employees at the headquarters. The Ashmans, who have accused him of using the company and spreading a dangerous parasitosis in order to experiment on approved medicines. Albeit, or Albert Wyman, before his death, pleaded not guilty for the other charges. He never declared himself uninvolved in the contamination at Rosso Gallo. As a matter of fact, Wyman stated... The proliferation of these moths and their living system may be the missing piece in modern medicine. Allegedly, Wyman also said to also said to act on behalf of Richard Felton, whom have been assuming the prototype number one of Phenexol for years before it's banned to cure his disease as he benefited from it during mesmerization sessions. Even though Felton contracted the disease in a, wholly, in a whole different context, the nuns who underwent tests before the fire reported similar symptoms in addition to a severe rise of insulin levels. Allergy to kurtosin that could lead to sudden filamentary keratosis, photosensitivity, and neuroleptic damage, possibly caused by abuse of prototype number two of Phenexol. A further side effect that would join the already abundant list of contradictions of prototype number one, cerebral cortex damages, hallucination, hallucinations, blah, blah, amnesia, and memory alteration. Meanwhile, the first investigations confirmed the malicious nature of the fire, ignited by pouring inflammable liquid in the water pipes, the same used to infect gas Russo, Rosso Gallo's fields, as well as the cloister, the plantations, and a whole wing of the Ashman's palace has been reported to be destroyed by the flames. The other side... Forgot something? Pre-styled wigs for just 39 dollars We can get pre-styled wigs for just 40 bucks. Oh, shit. What just happened? That just fell, and I don't know where to hide. There's a, a screen. Where? Over, other corner, other corner. There, 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 there. Oh god, I don't like this at all. Oh, nice bomb. You run really weird, Would dude. Would you like me to enjoy your stupid game? No, I'd rather you didn't, actually. I'd be fine if you hated every second of my stupid game. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Goodbye. I need to take my pill. <laughs> Trying to decide if he's walking away or just doing a lap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Doing See, doing a lap. While they're here, Bow, it's interesting about wow. the argument. It talks about the illness and the There's photosensitivity. To eat. Yeah. It's all moldy. It's interesting because moths, the way their vision works, it's pretty much just like the differentiation between light and dark. And like that whole thing where people are like, oh, well, moths are attracted to the light. The thing that happens is when they leave the light, their eyes don't adjust quickly. Oh, really? So then, like if they leave the light and they go into the darkness, their eyes don't adjust and they're like temporarily blind huh so just fun fact in case that becomes relevant because there was something about she was saying something about his vision right and how he he's losing his oh you think his vision is acting more like a moth's i think so 
What are you doing, sir? Get the fudge out of here. Oh my god. I think the game is telling us we need to sneak through that door. Okay, if he goes and does that again, I'll sneak through. If he starts walking back that way. Honestly, part of me is like, we should run upstairs and save. I know I have to come back down here for other stuff. Yeah. I just, I think it's interesting that this is a game wanting us to go through there. Why else would he just open that door? It's weird. And in theory, we can use that to get right back there. He's just turning around every 30 seconds. There's nothing left to eat. It's all moldy. So if he turns around again. Okay, God. Come here, turn around, I want to run upstairs, save. Because we haven't saved in a, in a while. Yeah. Like, even if we have to come back down here, that's fine. Because we'll have our stuff. So we just gonna close that door now? Oh, I just want to sleep! Until that door shuts. You're not buying it. Well, because that door shut, and then he walked right back through. Yeah. Right? You're right, I should have gone when he was over there. Because now I just have fear. I can still hear him, so we know he's not gone. Uh -huh. Can you hear him? Not anymore. <laughs> I mean, I have something to throw at him if worst comes to worst. Sure. Book it for the safe station if you want. You heard that, right? No. He was singing. The music just stop. That's the creepiest part. What the hell? Game. Stop this. Okay, you know what? F you, game. That is like my biggest fear is having to do all this again. Yeah, it sucks for us, but as far as the viewers are concerned, we can fast forward it like you said. Yeah. This door is locked. Thanks for that brilliant insight. I don't think I could survive many more hits as the other thing. Eh? Oh, that's a safe station. Oh, sweet, merciful Jonah's. Heal me. Why is that cracking a screen? Do I have limited number of heals? That's. Bullshit. I need another session. I, I really need it. That is... That is bully. Bull caca. I don't know. Maybe. Caca del Toro. Oh, fudge off. Go fump yourself. Take the rope. No, oh God, I don't hear. Because you heard that, right? No, I didn't. What do you keep hearing? I heard footsteps. But it might have just been me undoing the rope. Whatever, we just saved. Screw it. I thought I, it might have just been her, like, loosening the rope. I think but, so. But in my ear, it sounded like, like him walking. That's why we peek. I'm gonna go with no. Yeah, that's a no. Other way. Now, unless the AI decides to screw us, he should not know that that's now open. No, he should. So, there was another door. Well, this door we just passed. I don't think I can get in that one. But there's a door. Yeah, we're good. 
Back in the dining room. There's a door over there. Uh-huh. That I don't think we ever got to. Plus, there's all this stuff. Which, we're looking for battery at this point, right? Yeah. And we have enough that if he catches us, I can run away. And we're so close to a save station. Yeah, now we know where it is. That if worse comes to worse, I would chuck something at him and then go hide underneath the, uh... Couch or something. Oh, of course it's locked. Okay. Can we look at the painting? I have a feeling it's important. Daughter's feast. The entire Fulton family is portrayed in a cheerful atmosphere. Those days seem gone. Sal's face is unrecognizable. It looks like the canvas has been ruined on purpose by scratching too much. Maybe trying to forget his sins? Maybe. Assuming he did it, which I am. Okay, there was one more door, you were right. We'll go double check on that one side. Fudge my muppet. You, you heard that. No, are you hearing things? I think I'm hearing some things you're not, and you're hearing... We're both... We're using a shared pair of headphones. Um, we can't afford the fancier stuff. So, yeah, I, I heard a door opening. Which means you might hear stuff that I can't hear. Okay. So we have to be... Teamwork. Teamwork. Like put the damn pills! Oh, no. Was that... Did we, clo we closed that door because we yeah. came in the sneaky way. He came through. He opened Where that door. He? he just opened it and left? Okay. I vote we go the other way. Yeah, we didn't find anything in here. There's just that one door I wanted to try. Oh, actually, what I want to try is life. Hi, bum. tried that door, right? That was locked. This one, I don't think we tried. No, we, we did. I remember it. Oh, is that the one that he was behind? Yeah. Okay, haven't been in here, have we? No, we have. This is the main hallway. Uh... Oh, yeah, there's the stairs. Up we will go, back up we will go, so long scary. Naked man, for up we shall go. There you go. We'll save again up here, we'll save again up here. We'll go to the projection room to see what can be near. I still never want to run just because like unless we're getting chased yeah and I feel like sneaking is when he's like right there right there yeah I don't think he can hear us walking because we're so slow yeah she's not exactly winning any land speed races that's where I want to go but I want to save real quick Take off your bloody heels, man. Like, seriously. Not ideal for sneaking, walking, or running. Heels aren't ideal for anything. Nope. They maybe make your legs look good if you want them to, but that's pretty much the only purpose they serve. Yeah, if you want someone to look at your bum and your legs, you wear heels. If you want to escape a murderous psychopath, 
you wear flats or running shoes or bare feet s- steel toed boots are my well steel toed so shoes noisy. they're not that bad no but they'd be noisy in this creaky house maybe barefoot yeah barefoot but what if you get a splinter time. i guess fair point but like you do need to take your pills. You know what else you need to take? A bullet in the head. I hear it does wonders for congestion. More's more eager right after we save, because how much do we really lose? Not much. I think we got through the more challenging part there. Yeah, even if we died like right here, it's like, okay, we're going back 25 seconds. We're good. I'm pretty sure we opened all these before. We might have, but I, I can't remember, to be honest. Also, why are you sneaking? I don't know. I, I still don't fully know when the best time to sneak is. And it doesn't feel like we actually go that much faster. Yeah, fair point. There are some rooms, like, part of me is like, I should lock that with the yeah. rope. But another part of me is like, well, I can't get out the other way the other way anyways I guess just for the assurance of knowing he can't come in while we're doing what we're doing yeah it slows him down a good deal I still need a battery ugh really yeah where on earth I heard that Oh, no. He might be coming in here. Calling us. Jesus, loud. See, you hear that louder than I heard. I think. If you're gonna come in here, I'd like you to know that. Where could the battery be? We haven't seen a single battery this whole time. You heard that too, right? I heard a door, but I don't think it was that one. Didn't sound too close. Uh, just in case. Granted, he could totally see us through this. Okay. 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 Wait. Wait. No, no, keep going. Okay, keep going. <laughs> I thought I saw a beam like from a flashlight, but it's just the way the light hits that weird thing. I've seen it a couple times too. Every time I see that statue in the corner, and I'm like, oh. I need to take my pill. Congratulations, you're of no help to us. Oh, God. It really is. I don't know why it even bothers. With some of the doors, it was helpful because we saw him the one time. Yeah. But that particular door, we wouldn't see him if he was in this hallway. No. We just see the statue. All right. So we deposited that. We need to think about... Where to find a battery. Where we've been... Like, granted, we haven't been opening every single cupboard, but I doubt the battery's just sitting in a cupboard. Seems odd that In this hallway. Just... You know? But there wasn't any clue on the note, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. Um, I might check his bedroom one more time. I don't think it's in there. Um, but I honestly don't know... 
Because we went downstairs, we used the key to unlock the manor, or that area. We checked that area pretty thoroughly. But what did we find in there? Aside from the... We found the tape. Yeah. In that one section. Then we found the one thing that made him go all cuckoo bananas and attack us. Yeah. But I don't think we found anything else. I wonder... We found a radio. Where? Downstairs in the kitchen. That we could activate, right? But I'm wondering, is there a way... With these things on the clock. Yeah. I wish there was a way to take the battery out of it or something. Yeah, you think? Like, do you have a, do you have a Walkman I can steal? <laughs> like, I think it's just going to make noise, unfortunately. But Yeah, I think so, too. There could be a good way of luring him somewhere if there's two exit points. I think that's also one that oh. makes noise. It's a distraction. God, you've seen better days, my dear. It's just a hiding spot. Nothing back here. The doll. Best distraction ever. He's that's chasing terrible. after you. What's your defense? I threw a doll at I threw a baby at him. No, I think it's a noise making one. It's not a weird thing to keep inside your your room at all. need to think, where would a battery be? In the case of our house, because I'm organized little me, we have a designated electronics drawer we, that has the batteries in it. We do. What is on this chair? It's a knife. So if only this guy could have a designated electronics drawer. We checked over there. We didn't see anything. We actually didn't look that hard at that other corner. Mm. And the thing is, right now, if we get caught, I don't really yeah, care. Because at worst, it's like, again, we, we've just saved after depositing the thing. We would lose a tiny bit of progress. But not enough to make a significant dent. We might have to start checking all the drawers as we pass them just to make sure. Yeah. That was absolutely a door. I'm just gonna... Oh, I heard him. Did you? Yeah. No, uh, he walks towards here, but I don't think he makes it all the way. Interesting, we can close them. God damn it. Listen, dude, if I knew where your pills were... I would totally give them to I you. Would sh I would feed them to you. Like, that's how neighborly I'll be. I'll, I'll, I'll make you swallow. Oh, it's a knife. Why do you have knives? Everywhere. Everywhere. Like, I'm, I, I get there's, like, scissors are also used as these sharp weapons. But, like, my god. You're, like, 80 years old. You don't look like you're doing any, like, arts and crafts in your spare time. Maybe cutting up people. Another diversion. Yeah, so it's definitely not here. Which is good. It means we've crossed out this area. Ooh, painting, artwork. Butterflies. Butterflies, moths, and other flying creatures. You were super close because I could hear you. I wish games more, were more realistic about the fact that he has to sleep sometime. I guess it's trying to make up for it by saying he needs his medication to sleep. Yeah. I mean, if we're going realistic, he also wouldn't be mumbling to himself. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, mean, depending how crazy he, he is, yeah. Maybe if he has some kind of condition. But I don't know. Guards and games do that all the time. It's great. Like, you make noise. They grow like, huh, I must have imagined it. Like meanwhile, narrate what you're thinking. meanwhile, there's an arrow sticking out of his head. That's another thing, like, if you deconstruct a lot of video game tropes, you'll have instances of, like, 
I wonder why the main character decided to narrate what she was doing. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn does that, and I find it funny. They're like, I should, I should go... Shit. No way that worked. Toss a coin to your witcher, <laughs> oh valley of plenty. No, wait till you go back downstairs, because you don't spend a lot of time up here. You creepy... Oh, yeah, see? That's why I make that call. Because your AI is predictable. It's actually not. You turn around for no good reason, and it pisses me off. Like, right now, he's probably going to walk right back up these stairs. Slap me in the face with his sickle. It's all moldy. What if I check up upstairs? Let's go. I'm like 90% certain it's not up there. But then we can at least know... For sure. ...what we need is on the ground floor. It's just a matter of finding out where. Upgrade your defense item. Sure. It's not like we're really lacking in defensive items. But I guess it is possible to get to the point where it's an issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, drawer one. Okay. Because it has the option to open all these drawers. One of them has to have something useful. One of them has to have something, yeah. Huh. Okay, so we, we've thoroughly searched... You heard that, right? Nope. Yeah, I heard a door. We have thoroughly searched the upstairs area. It's not here. Which means it's got to be downstairs, which gives us a few options. We can go this way downstairs towards the door. Although, I searched that stuff when we first came in before we went to the bedroom, and I didn't see anything there. Mm -hmm. um, or... Or it's got to be downstairs. It's got to be downstairs. And so, at this point, if we die, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, we just restart. We, But we know not to search up here. Like, that that's all that happens. Yeah. Right? Did we find out what floor the elevator's stuck on? No. So, I'm not terribly worried about... Here. Not terribly worried about dying. I swear I heard his footsteps. Like, that's the thing. I don't want to die. But if but we do, if we we're do, not it's, losing progress. Yeah, we're not losing. So, uh, do you want to go left or right? What's nothing left to, to eat? Start with left. It's all moldy. Not paying to heat the whole neighborhood, dude. Come on. Have you tried that drawer before, by the way? I oh, don't think I have. You been... Oh, we have been in here. This is a very the generator. Yeah, I'm gonna go work my way backwards, so to speak. That way, if like we do end up dying, in in a weird, like thought way, we have less ground to cover. Yeah. If that makes any degree of sense. Yeah. I heard that. I heard you being a sneaky, sneaky boy. I'm gonna kindly ask that you, you stop that. You, uh, as the kids say, cut that shit out. <laughs> Homie. I can be hip. Okay. I'm, I'm with it. Okay, that, that was definitely not open before. I don't know what happened there. It was weird. We broke the fabric of reality. Okay. Okay. As fun as it is just hunting around for batteries. 
Yeah. Can we get somewhere, please, game? I'm trying. I'm not blaming you. Blaming the game. I'd like to accomplish something, game. Please. Pretty please. Oh, we can save down here since we know it's not upstairs. We know it's things on, on the mirror. Hallway. Those little dots. What little dots? Look at the the. Oh. There. What's the dot do? Oh, it opens. Dots open stuff. Wait, can we take one of those books? No, that will just close it. Okay. Gotcha. What we can do, and the question is, because the, the ropes are a double-sided coin. Like. We can lock this side, but then we can't get through on the other side. Yeah. And it means even if we're trying to escape, I'm pretty sure it slows us down significantly. So it's, it, it becomes a You're question. You're just up looking in the drawers? Look, we didn't look in the clock. Look in the clock, at least. You're right. I didn't even see a drawer. The we battery card, it's sealed. It needs to be unlocked from the... Fuck, that's gonna blast. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Find the clock dial key. Whoever designed this house... I heard that. Whoever There's designed this house is really that... stupid. Oh, that box is just a throwable. Yeah. I think this is a good spot to end this. Because now we have a new objective. <laughs> we really didn't accomplish uh, much. It's slow going. We're hoping this game will pick up soon. We're hoping it will. But thank you so much for joining us. And we will see you next time on Media Snoop's playthrough of Remothered Tormented Fathers. Have a good one. Bye.